Hello gamers and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft bookstore in Minecraft. If you guys enjoyed this video please like, share and subscribe. But anyway, it's time to begin. And here are all of the materials that you'll need to make your bookstore. First off, begin with two rows of brown concrete. One, two, place a dark oak door next to it. Then two brown concrete. Extend this brown concrete to the right by three. One, two, three. Or four. And then on this third middle block, this middle block, you should have a row of two, two left and right. Cap of two, I should say. Place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows of brown concrete. Place glass pane, leaving a gap of 3. Or. Well, no. I'll be, I'm fine with this. A gap of 1 and a gap of 3 to the right. To the right. I know it's not centered, but still. You can just bear with it for a second. Then just surround it using brown concrete, especially the doors too, no, especially the entrance too. Then extend this brown concrete to the right by 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Let's count that out. out. Hopefully this didn't, doesn't take so long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. For sure it's 19. Then we can extend all the way until it is even and level with the brown concrete here. I'm pretty sure it does let's see oh yeah it does nice oh and to highlight that to highlight how much we are also going to place brown concrete concrete because on on this window we have only one window there's going to be a sign that says book store so you're gonna place a row of, we're going to place blue concrete as a canopy on top of the glass pane which leads us to extending more brown concrete too especially this this one as well perfect and then place five rows of white concrete or two rows of white concrete okay then place a row of black concrete on top of the white concrete this will this will have store here but this time on top of the black concrete it's going to be four white concrete which will give us a book you're going to write there and then we can Surround it, surround the sign using brown concrete. nice and now we are going to extend the entire side outside of our bookstore up, un up until it is 
as high as the end of the brown concrete. This is applied to all the sides. Nice. After all that, we are also going to fill in the roof using brown concrete as well. Now that we have finished filling in the roof using brown concrete, we are also going to add a bell on top of the door. Just to serve as, just to serve as a notice that a person is coming by. On top of it, there is going to be a giant book. Book sign or a book. Just a book I should say, a book image. I know what I can call it, I don't remember the term. And just a giant book only. So we are going to add a giant book book here. And the sign is going to be saying bookstore. 
so it's all so it's gonna be all starting off with a black con black black concrete then blue concrete on top a row of or just a black concrete as a handle then place white concrete and actually actually no mistake it's supposed to be white concrete actually the black concrete is just going to be a border so just just car carve out all the green concrete at the edge then make a C shape then blue concrete next to black concrete this is up as a handle and like I mentioned earlier what am I doing I'm gonna add white concrete so white concrete here oh no or white white concrete there then a blue concrete right then a then the black then a black concrete blue concrete so it'll be three rows of blue concrete what am i doing then a white concrete and on top of it blue concrete let's see if i'm right or not turns out i was not right first it should be a white concrete on top of the black concrete then blue surrounding the handle like here the black concrete making it a total of three then place white concrete on top of the blue concrete blue blue concrete on top of the white concrete then the border is just going to be black concrete this is going to serve perfectly as a book now we're going to make the banners first before we make let's just clear all of this except the loom and the banner so it begins with a b actually we'll 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 be fine with, we'll deal with that vertical row of black right at the right but i might have miss, just misclicked it then horizontal row of black die at the top just a warning i'm going to be doing this quickly just to save some time so horizontal row of black die at the bottom vertical row of black die at the left horizontal row of black die in the middle b next is o two vertical rows of black die left to right horizontal row of black die or uh, not b horizontal rows of black die top and bottom o Next is K. Vertical rows, vertical row of black die at the left. Then two diagonal rows of black die. Which is the the first one is bottom left to top right. Second one is top left to bottom right K. Oh, but I forgot to mention you need another O. But since I'm in creative mode, I don't want to make another one. But if you are in survival, you have to make another one. So B O O K is going to give us book. Now next is store. In which we're going to begin with the letter S. So two horizontal rows of black die top and bottom. Horizontal like that. So diagonal rows of black die top left to bottom right. F. Next is T. Horizontal row of black die at the top. Vertical row of black die. No, no, horizontal of black right at the top, vertical of black right straight out the middle, T. Again, you need another O. So we have three in total. So skimmy the third O, we need R, next is R. Vertical row of black right at the left, horizontal row of black right at the top, diagonal row of black right top left to bottom right, R. Next is E. So it begins with a three. So it begins with three horizontal rows of three. No, three, yeah, three horizontal rows of black die, top, middle, bottom. Vertical row of black die at the left. There you have it, E. 
and you know on top of oh by the way i forgot to mention the placement book the word book is going to be placed at on the top at the top of the white concrete it was just going to be at the bottom under book so s t o r e there you have it bookstore easy peasy we can remove the loom or destroy the loom destroy the loom and the final thing of the, the final outside material that we're going to make the outside final the final outside touches we're going to be placing is the pavement so the pavement, the pavement is going to be two rows in front of the window and do not dis destroy that entrance way door entrance way part what do you call it entrance way wall as just did mis by mis my mistake so two smooth stone in front of the window also applies in front of the entrance way and this gives us gives us a grand total of four just dig the grass in front of it then fill it in using smooth stone there you have it and if I'm being honest, we finally completed the outside. We're gonna move on to the inside, which I'll go grab my stuff and then we can move on. Okay guys, now that I've grabbed all the inside material, materials, I hope you guys do as well. We are gonna move on to the inside. So as you can see the inside, it's very very dark. But first, I think we can remove the brown concrete. We're gonna fill the ceiling with some different material. But for now, we're gonna fill in the floor first. Actually, why not fill the ceiling first? That way, we're gonna add some lighting here. And the floor will be nice and bright just to see where is the grass. So, we're going to fill in the ceiling. We're using white concrete. And the placement is going to be just above this black concrete here as you can see this is where the ceiling is going to be placed and we're going to fill it in as well Perfect. Oh, I forgot to do. What do, I have, what do I have to do is just smooth out. You have to smooth out the window. We're not going to be covering the, wind, the glass panes. It's just the entire brown concrete that we have. It's going to be in line with this brown concrete here. Oops. What am I doing? Nice. Now I'm going to add in some nice lighting in the form of sea lanterns. The way I positioned it was a gap of two, just backwards with one row left and right. And this is gonna go on till we at the end where we where you cannot place any more Now that we have done done the lighting and the ceiling, 
you're not going to fill in the floor using mangrove planks. It's also going to be filled. It's going to be shown underneath the door, in which I forgot to steal it to steal it from. But no worries. I just grab grab one. This dark oak door again. Then there you have it. And now we can fill in the floor, fill in the grass and using mangrove planks without any trouble. nice and to provide some more lighting i'm gonna place torches as well but we have to remove one because we're going to add some books all over the place so it's just going to be in line and we can also add, but we can add a lantern in it and we're going to leave a gap of three this is where the counter is going to be. So four brown concretes going outwards, extending this to the left by nine. One, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's that's very much near. So how about we carve some more? Carve some out. Then we've got to place a brown concrete to the left, then gap of one, then a brown concrete. Maybe like. A row of 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which will give us 8. In which we are also going to add some books here. And a lantern. And as cash counters, we're going to be adding some small quartz desk. One thing I forgot, we can remove the door was oak trap door you know why I keep forgetting things but now that we have done this how about if we just make it up all the way up to the ceiling maybe we can't place lantern we just make it leaving a gap of one there you have it go you can also place you can also place loom. I don't know what what is what is that purpose. You can also make more customizable if that's the right turn. Like this. And then you can make some more shells, which is level even and level with a counter. But here the counter, I forgot to mention the high, mention the number. Here the bookshelf is going to be four, and the rest of them is out out of it is going to be three only. So here will be nice. Also here will do. Just wherever you find find some space to add, add some bookshelves. Then you can go with that. I'm fine with it. 
I think that's how much bookshelves we had. A book bookcase or book displays or whatever you can call. You can add some more lanterns to provide some even more natural light. Actually, instead of three, just so just adding three only. We'll go with four. Yeah. Then add some lanterns. Nice. Oh, we can also add some ladders just to get get out books in a scaffolding. And of course, you can make some more customizable books, bookshelves, the close ones, in the form of looms. Not dead, no. Maybe here will do. That's better. We need act instead at least two of them. That's how much we have to place. The final thing that we're going to do is to add carpets. So this is going to be just customized alternative brown and green. Just it's my favorite colors to do. And this is going to be placed in front of all the bookshelves. Bookshelves. Actually, how about we carve this? Yeah. And then make a rug, a diagonal rug, if that's the term. Yeah, it's better to have something to touch each other. Maybe this will do. But, but for now, that's it. We've just completed. The entire bookstore. I'm going to I'm going to clear all my inventory. Then I'll be back. And this is what our bookstore will look like once it's been 100% fully completed. I do hope that the guys I do hope that you guys like this one. And if you want to check out my Minecraft City Builds tutorial playlist, of course, you then find a link down in the description below. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.